I'm a great believer in, uh, in, in suggesting that everybody's faces are quite different from the next person. And I think that the key with uh, adequate treatment of the uh, aging face, the face that is losing volume, is to really in examine the whole patient, examine the face, look at the patient both at rest and at uh, animation. Look for asymmetry, look for animation and the changes there. Inquire about the general health of the patient. There may be other reasons why they use it lo uh, losing volume. If you walk around this uh, meeting today, you'll see eight-point lifts, four-point lifts, three-point lifts, and, and, and there's lots of different, uh, shall we say, proprietary lifting uh, target points. Um, do we actually uh, need them? Well, I think for the initial educational endeavors, they're probably useful. But I think for the real patient, they're probably not that valuable. And the reason I say that is because everybody's face is quite different. There are differences of opinion, as you've heard, whether we should or should not use cannulas. I'm a great believer that we should use both needles and cannulas. And having seen that demonstration, as I said, from the French plastic surgeon last week, uh, where it was impossible to, uh, in, in his demonstration, to actually puncture uh, a, a facial artery with a cannula, I'm even more um, uh, convinced about it. So my personal approach is to avoid permanent fillers. I will not use them. I never treat patients the day that we consult on them, and I don't think, as the General Medical Council suggested, it is actually not appropriate. It should be, there should be a cooling off period for the patients to consider the treatments.